looking to clamp player movement or your variable value within a range, mathf.clamp will help you do that. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to use mathf.clamp to clamp the value of a variable. Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Let's add a cube to our scene and we'll be adding a moment script to the cube and we'll try to clamp the cube's x-axis moment using our mathf.clamp. So let's go ahead to the hierarchy window, click on the plus sign 3D object cube. So that's our player. Now let's add a script to the cube. So click on add component. Then we're going to say move. Move will be the name of our script. Click on new script, create and add. Now let's open the script in Visual Studio for editing. We don't need these two namespaces. So we'll remove that. Let's create a vector three. And let's call it pause. In the update, we're going to first say pause is equal to transform.position. So it will take the current position of the cube. Then we are going to say pos dot x plus equal to input dot get access horizontal. So this will increment the x value depending on which arrow key you press. If you press the right arrow key, it will increment. And if you press the left arrow key, it will decrement the value. So now we want to clamp this value between a range. So our cube is at 0, 0, 0 right now. So let's clamp the value at positive 5 and negative 5. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to just say pos.x is equal to mathf. So mathf is inbuilt inside Unity Engine namespace. So you don't have to add any other namespace. So mathf.clamp. Mathf has a lot of functions inbuilt. We are not going to go through all of them. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing only about the clamp function. So it's going to be mathf.clamp. And the first value is the variable that you want to clamp. So pos.x. Then you give the minimum value, which is minus 5 in our case. If you want to clamp integers, then you have to give integers here. Otherwise, you have to give float value. So movement is basically float, so we'll just say f here. Then we'll assign transform dot position pause. So now our script is ready and we are clamping the value. So let's go back to Unity and see how it works. Okay, now let's play the game. And as you can see, the position is at 0, 0, 0. So if I press the right arrow, the cube, cube moves in the x-axis. So, But it does not go beyond 5. And similarly, on the negative x, it does not go beyond minus 5. So this way, you can clamp your play, player movement in any axis. And if you want to clamp the distance between two objects, then you can also do that using mathf.clamp, just get the magnitude of the distance and clamp the magnitude. So if you have any other question regarding mathf.clamp, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And also, if you're looking to learn Unity from the scratch, take a look at our playlist, Learn Unity from Scratch. So it starts from installing Unity and goes all the way up to making a simple game. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.